we've really planned today as a kind of exploratory discussion. Um, the idea was to try to find people right across um, the university and, and people who are nearby or connected with the university who have an interest in thinking about research methods and social responsibility and really to try and compare the ways in which we understand responsibility and to consider how we judge the value or the dangers or the impact of the research that we do. The social responsibility agenda of the university is to make the university a force for good locally, nationally and internationally by bringing knowledge to bear on the great issues facing the world in the 21st century and by producing graduates prepared to exercise social leadership and environmental responsibility. This is a rough edit for a documentary video about a piece of practice as research with members of the drama group at the Medical Foundation for the Care of Victims of Torture in Manchester. They're refugees, men whose activities in their home countries have led to their imprisonment and torture. These, uh, there are recorded interviews on this where one member of the group says, the drama group changed my life. A lot of my time I spend looking at my research findings and the policy implications which sort of fits into the university's definition of what um, social responsibility is about. But this was about research methods and social responsibility. So I'm focusing very much upon the interface that occurs very commonly in my research and the one I'm constantly designing my methods around, which is the interface between outsiders trying to get useful information and data from uh, relatively poor people um, in developing country um, contexts. Asking these questions about ethics and methods are very, very important because quite often, as David said, we don't upfront the methods issue in relation to the ethics issue explicitly in our own disciplines. We often think that we do, but actually we, we don't. It tends to be a bit of a, a rubber stamping. And indeed, within disciplinary practice, the question of methods is often taken for granted. Methods might appear as a set of standard practices or possible options for accessing certain kinds of data. For us, it's participant observation or ethnography. For you guys, it's performance, whatever that is, or whatever our practice is. And within my discipline of anthropology, the methods issue is submerged within the wider question of what constitutes ethnography and the nature of fieldwork. I'm involved in emergency humanitarian assistance, emergency medical aid. And one of the difficulties in researching into that is you're analysing something that people want to do and will do anyway. It is perceived as a good thing and people will do it. And it's very hard to objectively criticise that for people. And also, some data that you produce might be quite dangerous. That in Sarajevo, for example, when we worked there, the actual population of the city was a very dangerous number to know. Can we really value our social responsibility, particularly in what uh, is a turbulent world that we live in today? So I'm going to start off with a grand challenge. How can we increase air travel and reduce carbon emissions at the same time, simultaneously. And this was a question that was posed by EPSRC in 2008 when they organized this sandpit event to get researchers to battle with one another to try to get research money. I'm going to be at a very different level of abstraction, I think, than many of the talks. I'm not going to have nice stories to tell you or pictures uh, or anecdotes even. I'm just going to sort of reflect on a few broader issues in economic science social science, whatever, that came to my mind when I was thinking about the title of this workshop. Um, I should say, I don't really, I don't do research in this area, I don't really reflect on it very often. I thought I'd start with the question that I'm, I'm going to focus on is, how can we think of social responsibility in relation to the subjects and subjectivities enacted by our very methods? I think from all the discussions that we've had today, we can certainly say that methods are doing a lot of things in the world and they have different ethical and social consequences. We've been concerned so far today mainly with the former, so ethics in research. And I think my task, to begin with at least, is to, um, is to explain the latter, to look at what research in ethics means and does, um, what it is we do, and to discuss how that relates to ethics in research. Can I just share a few things that, that struck me? Which is, having just been to a conference on international humanitarianism where nobody mentioned Iraq or uh, American tortures, because it was in America, um, <laughs> I started wondering whether we were a little bit like that too, and whether we actually, we talked a lot about impact on policy, how our research might actually shape the world, 
and not an awful lot about how the world has shaped our research. And perhaps we ought to think a little bit more about that procedure and process 